Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be unboxing, showing you how to set up and giving you our initial thoughts and maybe run a speed test on this D-Link wireless AC1200 dual band PCI Express Wi-Fi adapter model DWA582. Now, I picked this one up from the store because my USB Wi-Fi adapter with an antenna stopped working, it overheated and it keeps cutting out. So we're not gonna use that anymore. We're gonna try a PCI Express card this time in my computer. But hey, if you are new here, my name is Ken and this is Northern Viking Every Day and we bring you videos on reviews and how to's. So make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. But let's go ahead and dive right into this wireless PCI Express card. So what are some of the features of this card? It's an AC1200 speed, superior range, dual band, HD 3D streaming, advanced security, and easy setup. Now, I'll put a link below to Amazon if you are interested in picking one of these up. There'll be more information there, as well as I'll have a link to the D-Link website so you can check out all the specifications on this card. Let's go ahead and open it up and have a closer look at it. Now, I already pulled off the uh, plastic wrap on the outside, but we'll pull all this out here. It looks like there's all your paperwork, instructions for setting up. There is a startup DVD. Now I did read some of the instructions online last night and it does want you to install the driver ahead of time. So if you don't have a DVD player, you can download them from their website. And again, I'll put a link to that in the description below. Now, if you don't have internet, you might need to download it on a different computer and bring it over to the computer you're installing this on. Looks like it's got the plate for the back of your PC there. We've got a couple of antennas here. Let's pull those out. So the antennas, both of them stick up in the back and they're pretty much exactly the same size as this other antenna from my old USB Wi-Fi card. So there's two of those. And the card here as well. Let's open that up, pull that out. There's the card there. And again, that's going to go into the back of your PC. And I'll show you how to install that here in a moment. So there's that side, that side, and then the antennas screw right on the back here. And I'll give you a close up of these right here as we're talking right now. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put the DVD with the driver on it in my computer and we'll get that downloading. And again, if you don't have a DVD player, you can download it from their website over there. So let me pop this in. So once the disc is in, if it's not popping up automatically for you, you can go to your start menu and go to documents right here and search your computer for your DVD drive. Mine's right there. And once you're in there, we're looking for the program or application. It's this one right here. It says auto run. It's got a little D link logo and it's an application. We're just going to go ahead and double click on that left click on that. And it's going to load up the, um, installer for you. So this is the D-Link installer. We can select our language. I'm going to go with English and view the install guide, view the user manual. There's all sorts of stuff. Install Adobe Reader, technical support, register this product. We're just going to click on install over here on the right hand side and it's going to start installing everything for us once we've agreed to the user agreement. So go ahead and read through that. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and hit agree and it's gonna start installing everything for us. All right, so it wants us to select our language here. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit English and welcome to the installation wizard. We're gonna hit next and it's gonna start installing all the drivers for your D-Link wireless card. All right, and it says installation complete. You can just go ahead and hit finish and it is all good. You can see I don't have internet yet here. So we are going to jump over and install this wireless card into the computer. So I'm going to shut it down. I'll film all this and show you how I do that as well. So first things first is we want to make sure our computer is fully unplugged so we don't electrocute ourselves or hurt our components. I have these little thumb screws that I'll take out to remove the side panel off of my computer. From there, we're looking for our PCI Express slots. I have two of them, one right here above my video card and one down here below my video card as well. So once we found those, we're gonna have a look at the back of the computer. We need to remove these metal covers so that the card can stick out the back of our PC. And if you have smaller slots, the Wi-Fi adapter did come with a separate bracket that you can swap out to accommodate that size. 
So this is the PCI Express slot we're gonna use. So we need to take off that back metal cover. I'm just gonna loosen off this screw with my screwdriver and then I should be able to get it out with my fingers. Once that is loose, the cover should just slide out or pop out, just like that. From there, we can go ahead and install our Wi-Fi card. So we're gonna slide that right into the slot and you'll see that the screw should line up. So we can just screw that right back in to hold the Wi-Fi card in place. From there, we'll go ahead and install the two antennas on the back of the Wi-Fi card. They just screw right on to the back. There's the first one and the second one, and you can kind of adjust the angle that you'd like them at as they fold up. And let's go ahead and put the side back on my computer, and then we'll go ahead and plug in all the cords and turn it back on. All right, so I just started up my computer here. I haven't done anything yet. And if I go to my Wi-Fi here in the bottom right-hand corner, you can see all the Wi-Fi networks for the area are showing up. I'm gonna go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi network, then we'll run a speed test for you and see how this runs. Okay, let's start the speed test here. It looks like I'm getting about a 10 millisecond ping. And for the download, I'm getting about 200 megabits per second download, which is really good. Um, for the internet connection we have here at our house. And let's check the upload. It looks like it's gonna run at about 20 megabits per second upload. So I'm really happy with that. Getting some great speeds here for our connection. All right, so what are my final thoughts on this D-Link wireless AC1200 dual band PCI Express Wi-Fi adapter card? Well, first off, it says it's got easy setup and it truly was quite easy and quick to set up. I just had to take the side off of my computer take this little bracket or cover off the back and slide it into one of my open slots. And again, make sure your computer is fully unplugged when you do that. But it was easy to set up, as well as the drivers. If you do have a DVD drive, it was easy to set up the drivers. If you don't, you can easily download them off of their website. Also, I did get great reception with it with the two antennas, as well as you can see on the speed test, I'm getting great internet results here in my home. So I'm really quite happy with it. If you are interested in picking one of these up, again, I will put a link below in the description to Amazon where you can find it over there. So I hope this video did help you out. If it did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, remember to connect with me on social media. You will find all those links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching today and until next time, take care.